charcoal. Okay. Now, why do we have to cook clean? We need to cook clean, first of all, to save our environment because we use wood mm. to, uh, to uh, make fire. Yeah. And unfortunately, our biomass today is not renewable. When I say renewable, if okay. we replant and use, then this is the best. Okay. Yeah. okay. Secondly, the, uh, the method which we use to cook the firewood and charcoal is not sustainable. When you see a fire being uh, made with wood, it's just three stones. Mm. And the fire. That's what we put the old the latte. Yeah. Yes. There's mm. three stone in what is easily when you go around Accra, Kumasi, you see that, especially those women using uh, firewood to cook uh, commercial cooking. Okay. And therefore, the exposure of this smoke, that is carbon monoxide, they breathe. And it causes a lot of problems, uh, health problem, eye problem, mm. uh, blindness, and even barrenness, not giving birth to... Uh, really? Yes. Uh, okay. all these are all part of it. Mm. And therefore, there is the need uh, for us to also conserve our, our forest because it's not there forever. For the generation unborn, if 84% of the population is using firewood or wood to cook, and the population is increasing annually, then of course... Uh, uh, by the year 2050, we have no forests again. Uh, as of today, Ghana's forest is reduced to 27% of its original mm, size yeah. um, due to not only cooking but also uh, farming and so on and so forth. And the other aspect why we should cook clean also is that if we cut down all the trees, the soil is no more fighter, okay. the erosion takes place, drought takes place, and therefore our food security is also at risk. So the number of factors, that's why we need to cook. Cooking. Yeah. So health, the environment. Exactly. Things, exactly. Now let, let's zero in on the campaign. How yeah. long has it been running? The, the campaign has been organized by the Ghana Alliance for Clean Cook yeah. Stove. It's a, a stakeholder, a platform okay. for those in the sector to come together and say, look, we have to do something. Uh, we cannot sit until the last minute. So we started to, to come together at 2012 March. Okay. And uh, this include manufacturers of clean cook stoves okay. and improved cook stoves. When I say clean and improve, uh, okay. I have to make a distinction. The clean is the one which is LPG, which is acceptable, okay. is the most cleanest or mm -hmm. uh, natural gas. Okay. And then we have the improved Proof. cook stove versus for the biomass. Uh, and so we came together and we said, look, there's a need to do so awareness. And awareness is always the problem. We, the people are not aware that cooking kills. In fact, that's why we say cooking kills, and in Ghana it kills 13,400 year in, year out. Okay. Now, with, with the stats I even mentioned before, whilst the, the, the interview started, do you think, how is communication in terms of raising awareness with regards to this particular issue? Well, that is why I'm happy that you called me here. Well, that's how uh, you actu <laughs> Actually, it's the press that also helped to disseminate okay. for me. We have limited resources. Mm -hmm. This is a uh, this information or this campaign is very very vital for everyone, whether you are using uh, biomass or not, because ultimately it affects all of us. If uh, there are no trees, uh, the air we breathe it will be very very hard for us to breathe, and if there is no forest, there is no uh, planting or there is no agriculture, therefore there will be no food. So we will appeal to the press that the take out information to the people. There are so many ways, there are so many areas affected. The subject is so interesting that when you start, you never end. Mm, you have, you can write about this uh, problem or these challenges uh, uh, every, every day. And uh, we are constrained with cash, so we are only doing uh, specific targets, like targeting the uh, uh, women in the community. We are targeting uh, queen mothers, for example. Mm to bring the message home to the people. We also go around house to house, we, we do campaigns, we go to places where health officers meet or nurses meet. We, we choose a, a special um, gathering to bring our message home due to our limited resources. Okay, now let's talk about our cohorts, okay. <laughs> how, mu how much of that should we use? Are you saying we shouldn't use it at all? We... Yeah, our yeah. cohort sh should be thrown away. <laughs> We shouldn't use it at all because, first of all, it wastes a lot of charcoal. Okay. Um, when you use uh, coal pot, you, you actually have contribute, the fire is, itself is about just 10%. Mm. 
And if you come to think about the fact that six tons of wood is used to, to produce one ton of charcoal, mm. and if every Ghanaian per capita charcoal consumption is 700 um, kilo per year, we are talking about doubling the number, that is almost uh, four tons of wood you have to cut down to make charcoal. So that is why we are saying if we are not privileged to use uh, EPG, use the charcoal sustainably. I like the fact that you said privileged. Yeah. Because you've mentioned that LPG is the cleanest. Unfortunately, it also happens to be the most expensive in, in, in our setting because average, like a medium-sized cylinder would cost about 45 cities to fill. And if you have a large family size, you might have to fill that about every week, every other week. How is the, the, the alliance looking at this? Well, this is where, um, actually, it is the initial cost of FPG that makes it expensive. Otherwise, it's not as most expensive one. Mm, okay. uh, so the government is uh, rolling out, uh, in its policies, rolling out what we call the cylinder circulation model. Okay. That what is, is where it? you do not go and pay a lot of uh, upfront costs, but uh, to pay a certain amount to the provider where you bring in your cylinder, you take away a new one. This is because um, the provider will have to make sure that the cylinder is given to the user is safe. Okay. And the provider will be made responsible for any accident that occurs. Okay. We want to you know, give the awareness, to create the awareness that, look, it is, it is safer to use. Mm. And we have to gain the confidence of the user. So, so it's uh, FPG not all that expensive as uh, compared to the other form of gas. Mm. Uh, but uh, I mean, to the average Ghanaian, since that's what we is like a better alternative as as compared to the you know the, the latte and the coal pot. Yeah, you see, the point is that uh, even though LPG is accessible in Accra and Kumasi, but Accra and Kumasi alone use fifty seven percent of the whole charcoal produced in this country, wow. and Accra, Accra, despite its nearness to LPG, mm. use almost thirty seven percent of charcoal. Mm. So it's uh, the, the, the emphasis should not only be on LPG, mm. but then also how do we use charcoal sustainably? That okay. is one of the most important things that we are bringing the message home. We do, you can use improved cook stove. Uh, Tell and us about you, that, the improved cook improved stove. Cook stove. Yeah. Because on, on that, you are saving money. You are not just burning your cities. You are really saving money because, uh, for example, our members have stoves that can give as far as 70% savings. So, Instead of throwing away your money uh, by using the traditional co mm. you are saving money and you are saving, you are saving your health. Mm. And mind you, a charcoal price is going up uh, every year. Uh, it will not be ever, ever cheap. So uh, if you use it sustainably, you help yourself and you should help the nation. And globally, you help uh, to reduce CO2 emission, which is the cause of uh, climate change, which we are experiencing even uh, in the poorer countries. Okay, so is, is there um, is the government doing anything directly to promote this this course? Yeah, the government has, uh, uh, has a number of uh, policies in place, mm -hmm. like renewable energy, access to energy, mm -hmm. uh, and Ghana has signed to be uh, to provide uh, by year twenty thirty clean energy for all its citizens. So the efforts are there from the government side, and uh, our side, I think. Uh, Last um, last week we had a conference, a forum, a global forum, which was the first in mm. Africa, and uh, um, the energy minister, power, and uh, what do you call it? is it power petroleum minister was there, and the, also we had some the privilege to receive some parliamentarians. The, the minister, honourable minister for gender, was also there, and for the first time she got to know what we're doing, and she has promised to help. So uh, we look forward to that kind of uh, help. And our main problem is awareness, 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 awareness. Mm. Okay, let, let, let's compare finally the household consumption of biomass as compared to the commercial consumption. If you would were to compare, how, which which one consumes more? Oh, definitely the one cooking for a business mm. uh, consumes more, but they are more prone to this danger because as of now, as I'm talking, members have concentrated on households. Mm, okay. And there are a number of, uh, we call the commercial users, those doing pito brewing, shea butter making, gary, fishmongers, they are really exposed to uh, 
is hazard because for, they don't use charcoal, they use firewood and firewood is because firewood uh, brings uh, smoke. You know, you one where usually in Ghana they say where there's fire, where there's smoke, there's fire. That's no, fine. it's not correct. Where there's bad fire, that you have smoke. Oh, okay. yeah, because. Um, uh, burning is that when the combustion takes place completely, mm -hmm. when the burning is complete, you don't have uh, smoke. That is why we have the improved cook stoves, that's why we have the other system. That's why I'm saying even in future, we still continue to use uh, firewood because there are more technologies coming that burns like gas. You know, there's no uh, health aspect of it. So mm -hmm. the, the burning should be complete to avoid the smoke. Okay. Tell it, give us a message. Drum it home. Yeah, the message is throw away the old cook pot, do away with the three stone fire, because when you buy improved cook stove, you are saving money. Your personal benefit is saving money. The national benefit is trying to avoid deforestation and uh, helping to uh, to hold our mm. ecosystem integrity. And globally, you are helping to reduce CO two emission. So please don't use the old cook pot or don't use the uh, three stone buy improved cook stove you buy it and your payback is just three to six months you have your money back and the rest three and you have years. good health as well and that's that's important because exactly. you need good health exactly. to enjoy a good life exactly thank you so very much I'm